12th grade of the high school of the University of Puerto Rico won a NASA competition. Now, NASA chose 57 winners from a contest in which almost 600 teams compete in. Now, each group will receive $1,500 for the construction phase of the proposal that they won. Our Francis, Francis Felix reports. A group of students of the University High School of Puerto Rico, better known as the UHS, has managed to become the first Puerto Rican team to win the NASA Tech Rise Challenge student competition. We had chosen the project where we would send our experiment up uh, around 70,000 feet into the air, uh, trespassing through a few layers of the atmosphere. And our experiment uh, basically consists of testing a rubber band trying to test how resistant it is at the drastic changes of temperature as it rises. And we would have different tests at the different altitudes, at the different uh, temperatures to try and see how resistant rubber bands are. Uh, that's basically the gist of our project. Why you decide um, to participate in this project? We wanted to get experience um, in some type of experiment. We, know we wanted to work as a team. We wanted to learn new stuff and in an activity such as the NASA Tech Rise, it was a really good opportunity for us to develop skills we can use for our future careers. What challenge have you faced during this pandemic time to develop the project? Well, we have faced different challenges and I think the most difficult one to manage was uh, the challenge of coordinating all the meetings with all the members since each each member has a different curriculum in the school. Well, it has been a great help to have the support from the school and the teachers. Once uh, they got news that we decided to form this group, uh, they, they were immediately excited. They immediately supported us. Our uh, 12th, grade, 12th grade physics this year teacher was the one that helped us the most and the one that helped us uh, register the team and everything. And all throughout the school, we've gotten lots of Lots of praise. We've gotten like cheers on. Uh, I've, I've seen people that know about the school outside of school, and they go, they they walk up to me and go like, "Hey, congrats!" And I'm, I don't know. It, it's it's like uh, it's a feeling of pride, and it 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 keeps me going, keeps us going because I mean it's 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 a it's our project, but it's also uh, the school's project. How important is the knowledge and what you learn in classes? So our school not only through the physics department that has been taught by the professor here. Um, we've learned a lot of things, a lot of lessons from that department specifically, but also in the more technological side, we've had a lot of help from um, the tech teacher here, who teaches us a lot of programming skills, a lot of on-hand development skills with projects like this. And I think this is just a really good experience to take that knowledge from our courses and bring it out into a more hands-on project, such as NASA Tech Rise. With this experience, these students have the opportunity to develop the knowledge acquired in classes like science and technology. That is why it's so important to support public schools and the University of the State, Universidad de Puerto Rico. From Rio Piedras, Puerto Rico, Frances Félix.